Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I'm trying in this tutorial. I want to show you an easy way of how you can unify skin tones within Photoshop. So, I've been doing so many capture and tutorials, and I felt like I'd thrown all left behind my Photoshop tutorial. So, this is going to be an easy way to color grade your images by simply matching the skin tones or unifying and evening out the skin tones in regards to skin color or the skin tones. So, Without further ado, let's get started. So usually this tends to happen when maybe the makeup is not matching with the rest of the body and we just want to unify and make that makeup look like the rest of the body in which we have that kind of discoloration. So without further ado, let's just get started. And if at all you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to so many people out there. So this is the image that we're going to be dealing with and we're going to first of all look for the colors and we make a palette. So you just want to come and create a sample of the colors that lie within the midtones, the shadows and the highlights. So by that we're just going to come and create a new empty layer right here. And I'm using Photoshop 2020 for all those that always ask me. And we're going to name this too. The colors so after doing that we're just going to simply come to this line make sure it is still selected and we're going to come under the brushes and simply right click and get the brush and make sure the hardness we just want it to be as hard as possible so the brush is the round brush and now the hardness we are using a hardness of 100 percent and after doing that, make sure the blend mode is normal, opacity and the flat 100%. So with this empty layer selected, we're just going to sample the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows. So before sampling, we just want the brush to be as accurate as possible. So I'm just going to simply come right here and get the eyedropper tool. And make sure the sample size is either 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five average. So for this case, I'm just going to leave it to five by five average and the sample measure it is on all layers so i'm just going to zoom in so with that done i'm just going to come back and select my brush tool so after getting the eyedropper tool and selecting the sample size make sure you come back and select your brush tool so in this case i'm just going to start mapping the colors in the midtones the shadows and the highlights in the image so let me start with the highlights and i'm just going to simply Hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and simply click on any area that has highlights in the image. So this looks okay. This area is a good sample. So you hold down the alternate key on the keyboard and that is going to bring up the eyedropper tool or the color picker tool. And simply left click on the area you want to sample from. And you can see on these small boxes it has sampled that color. So I'm just going to zoom out slightly. I'm just going to dab with that color right here but remember i'm painting this color on an empty layer and not on the image itself i'm just going to come and do the same for the midtones in this very image so for the midtones base color i'm just going to do the same process hold on the alternate key on the keyboard and look for a color that lies between or in the midtones i'm just going to come and choose this color looks a good representation of the midtones in this image I'm just going to come back and simply dab right there. And I'm just going to do the same for the shadows. So when you're selecting the shadows, don't select a black area. Make sure you select the shadow area within the skin tones of the image. So for this case, I'm just going to look for that area. And a good representation can be this area right here. And as soon as I click, and I come and I simply dab. So when you can see right here, we have made the colors that fall within the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows in this very image. So after doing that, you just going to come to the background layer right here. Make sure it is selected. Then come under the adjustments and simply come and select gradient map. So when you select gradient map, this is what we have. So in order for this to be effective, you're just going to come and make sure this icon has been selected, not the white layer mask, 
make sure this has been selected right here and simply click on this color right here so when you single left click on that color it's going to open up your gradient editor and that is going to help us sample or map these colors regarding the highlights and the midtones and the shadows so as you're looking at this gradient map the shadows are usually on the left hand side right here and the highlights or the brightest areas are usually on the right hand side so the shadows on the left the highlights on the right and the midtones right in the middle like it suggests right now so i'm just going to come and simply double click right there and when you double click it's going to open up the color picker tool right here and i'm going to simply get the eyedropper tool and simply click on the highlight area or the color that we sampled that has the highlights and with that you can as well take into consideration the brightness of this color which is 66 percent yeah make sure that you cram this or put this at the back of your mind and simply press ok so you can come to a location and simply type in 66 just like that and you can see it's going to move the color picker tool to one stop towards this side so just going to come and make another point right in the middle so you can just come when you get the hand tool right here and simply left click in the middle of the highlights and the shadows and when you get this stop created for you simply double click on that color stop and just come and simply left click on the color that lies between the midtones and make sure you take into consideration the brightness level which is 35 in this case yeah, I just come and press OK right here and come right here and simply type in that value and we're going to do the same for the shadows so simply double click on the shadow area and simply left click and you can see a brightness level is 18 percent and simply come and press OK just come and type in 18 right here and it's automatically going to move that stop to the area that has that location or that percentage and after doing that you're just going to come and press ok so after doing that we are now done setting up the gradient map and right now we just want to paint in those colors so that they can unify and really look uniform regarding skin tone so you can you can as well come and simply turn this off if at all you don't want it to confuse you so with the gradient map selected just come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color so this is going to make the image look a little bit awkward but i just want you to look at what we're just going to do right now we just want to mask in and paint in the colors in areas that that have skin rather in this image so with that done we're just going to come back remember we first of all selected this icon inside of the layer mask so we're just going to come and right now select the gradient map layer mask and simply press ctrl or command i on the keyboard to hide the effect from affecting the overall image and after doing that we're just going to come back through the brushes simply right click and get the brush tool and this time around we're just going to take the hardness all the way to zero percent in order to make the brush as soft as possible and the opacity is going to be at 100 percent the flow at 100 percent and right now just come to these two small boxes right here so if at all you have any other color in these color swatches make sure you simply click on these two small boxes to reset and have black and white right here so you have to always make sure to have black and white after selecting the brush right here so make sure you click left click on these two small boxes and you can switch between black and white by using the arrow keys on the keyboard or you can simply press x on the keyboard switch in between black and white remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide that is the reason as to why our effect was hidden behind the black mask and in order to reveal it yes we're just going to make sure that the brush we're going to be painting on the areas we want to reveal it is going to be white in color meaning it is going to be revealing the effect that we created on this black layer mask so just going to start painting 
on the areas that have skin so i'm just going to zoom in by using ctrl command plus on the keyboard and using my brush tool i'm just going to start painting on the skin i know it's going to be looking a little bit weird as you're painting but we're going to be fine tuning that later on so i'm just going to paint on the areas that have skin in this very image and like i say it may look awkward or weird as we are painting through the skin but we're just going to be fine tuning that later on so let's just paint in the areas that have skin don't mind if i told you paint in the makeup or the eyeshadow because we're just going to be fine tuning that in the next step so i'm just going to come and paint right on the hand area or whatever you may call it the hand the arm i'm just going to come and paint don't mind if i told you paint outside because you can always eliminate it because you're dealing with layer masks in this case i'm just going to come and paint i'm trying to do a quick job but you always have to take your time as you're doing all this so i'm just going to come and paint through on the skin area so this is going to really look awkward as you're painting through but i'm just going to be showing you how perfect it's going to be at the end of this very process remember we have painted excess areas so if i told you i've painted excess areas meaning you have to switch your brush back to black so just simply use x on the keyboard to switch the brush and make it black meaning it's going to be painting back black and eliminating the effect from where you don't want it in your image so i'm just going to be eliminating the extra areas i had painted through in this photo i'm just going to do a very quick job right here because i don't want you to take a long time because most of you tend not to love long tutorials so i'm just going to do this and paint out or eliminate the areas that i don't want to be affected by this effect and i'm just going to zoom in and work on the lips because i don't want this to affect the makeup or alter or change the original color of the makeup of the model right here so i'm just going to paint through and eliminate it from the lips and i can come and eliminate it from the eyes and the eyeshadow in this case just like that and you can see we are now trying to get back the image the way it was in regards to the makeup that was applied to the model so after doing that after eliminating and feeling like you have painted through the skin areas just come to the opacity and take it down to the one of your liking just look at the image as i'm turning down the opacity just look at this let me zoom in so that you can see this in real time so this is the image at 100 percent but when you keep taking the opacity down you can see that the skin is now looking a little bit more uniform so i'm just going to go intense for this i'm just going to go with around 67 it looks okay so basically this is how to do it and just look at the before this is the before you can see we've had so many reds in the image and the skin was not looking a little bit uniform and this is what we have been able to achieve and the skin looks looks uniform and if at all you feel it is too much you can come and deal that back down and just look at how uniform the skin has gotten to be so basically this is how to match and unify the skin color or skin tones if at all the skin is not matching in one way or the other and this is it for this tutorial and you can come and basically delete this if at all because we no longer need it and we only needed to use the gradient map so basically this is how to unify all match skin color or skin tones within photoshop and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you need more amazing trials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating